Hello everybody, welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we are going to be talking about some indie pickup items. If you want to know more about what indie pickup is, what some of the items that I was sent, and just more general information, keep on watching. here on Southeast by Midwest before we talk about the products we always disclose and the disclosure for this video and corresponding blog post is that these items were all sent to me to you know for consideration to talk about as I was chosen as blogger of the month for February's indie pickup um, so these were all sent to me however my opinions as always are my own so let's talk more about this what exactly is indie pickup first off well the first thing you need to know is that Indie Pickup and Polish Pickup are together. You may have heard of one or both. And the way that it works is that each month there is a theme and then the indie brands that are that kind of, you know, run in this little circle can choose whether or not they're going to participate and what theme, you know, what they want to use for that theme. So for example, February's theme for the Indie and Polish Pickup uh, is Famous Duos. So for example, the one that I have right here is from Heather's Hughes. And her duo is Lucy and Ethel from I Love Lucy. Um, his, if you younger people may not know what I Love Lucy is because that is a show from way back in the day. And this is based off of the episode from the, the called The Chocolate Factory, where they sit there and they shove all the chocolates in their mouth because it's going across the conveyor belt. Now I do want to mention before we jump in, First off, I apologize for the lighting. My bulbs are not in my umbrella lights. However, what I do want to mention is that not all brands were required, you know, nobody was required to send me anything. So I think I have like 18 products here to skim over really quickly. And more information will be in the blog post listed down below along with pictures. And we're going to jump in. I'm going to try to keep this as alphabetical as I can. The first brand and product that we have to talk about here is Alter Ego. And Alter Ego's theme was Fire and Ice. I don't know if they did like fire somewhere else. But for this being ice, it is, I believe, like a peppermint kind of scented. And it's a beard oil. Now... She does say that this can be used as a cuticle and body oil if you'd rather get it for that. Travis used it as a beard oil to try it out and tell me what he thought and he loved it. Oops. Um, it is a glass dropper style and this is two ounces. The price will be $7.50 and you can really smell the peppermint. It's clear not green like the bottle shows. He felt like it really moisturized to that area. He really, really loved it. Anyway, it is $7.50 and there is no cap on this. So there, it's unlimited. Next, we have Bees Knees Lacquer. And I don't know if I have one of hers in here. Yes. Um, if you remember, she sent as she had one of the polishes in the Harry Potter box. So she partnered up with Night Owl Lacquer, who was also in the Harry Potter box, for a Harry Potter themed little duo. Um, you have to buy them separately, but hers is Bellatrix Lestrange, and then Night Owl Lacquer's is Molly Weasley, which we will get to. This is the Dark Lord's Most Loyal Servant Bar Soap. There's her little label that came on that. And as you can see, it is green, kind of silver and black woven through there and then there's a bio glitter and like a little snake on top it is so pretty the scent is like a patchouli um sandalwood and she says like a light floral but i don't really get it i have like lathered the sides of up of it a little bit to kind of see what i thought about it and i actually really do love it it left my skin feeling super super soft and I haven't tried the glitter portion, so I don't know what the glitter does, but I love the soap itself. Um, this is a four ounce bar of soap. It will be $8 and there will only be 40 available. Next, we have Beyond the Nail. For the polish pickup, she sent me actually her nail polish. And this is called Last Stand. It is basically a kind of a, a sandy nude neutral shade like a tan shade with different like flakies and micro glitters and things like that in there it is really really gorgeous i loved it that's for the polish pickup for her actual indie pickup she has this is a set you'll get together these are vinyl nail art guides so basically the way it works i kept it so that i could show you you basically pull this part off see how it looks like this 
you pull it off and you put this over your nail and then you paint over it and while it's still wet you pull that off but you can also use these little parts here if you want it on your nail these are supposed to be like bulletproof uh, like bullet holes there are nine of those on the little thing and then with these these are little money bags that you pull off of here and just put on your nail and then put a top coat over it and you just leave that on the nail and there are 30 of these on here you get like I said a set of both oh by the way her theme is Bonnie and Clyde and the price for this little set is six dollars but there's only going to be a hundred available next we have Chirality I don't think I pronounced that right and her theme is Rocket and Group from Guardians of the Galaxy and she did a cuticle oil that's supposed to have like a woodsy sandalwood teak wood leaves kind of like you know that woodsy group kind of scent and it smells really really good but what I love most about this is that she does her cuticle oil with a doe foot applicator how genius is that so basically you can just I'm not gonna do it on all the nails but you basically just swipe it around with the little doe foot this is 12 milliliters it will sell for nine dollars and there will only be 50 available all right next from fangirl polish we have a magnet set her theme was as you could tell mario and luigi and for me she sent them on double-sided tape stuck to the back of her business card i don't know if that's how y'all will get them if you purchase them but they are like i said little magnet sets so you get Luigi, you get four magnets, Luigi, Mario, the Grow Mushroom, and then the Fire Flower. And these four are $8 for the set, and there will only be 20 available. Next, from 40 Winks, we have these gorgeous earrings. Her theme was Ross and Demelza Poldark. And these are hand marbled with five different indie lacquers. You can either choose, they have like this like lever back on them, you see? Put it in and then it just kind of hinges back. You can choose either 14 or 12 millimeter and they will sell for $11. I loved this one. This is from Galti, Galti, however she wants to pronounce it, um, Cosmetics. And this is just a little bit of steam whipped soap. Now quickly, before I tell you what its theme is from, can anyone tell me in the comments down below what it could be? So we got this nice gray whipped soap and it's a gentle masculine musk, black tea, sweet fruit, spice. She calls it tobacco leaves and warm leather scent. It really is actually gender neutral. When you first open it, it does have kind of a masculine scent, but it goes away and it can be used by anybody. I loved the whipped texture. It was great for my dry skin. A little bit goes a long, long way. This is 4.4 ounces. This will cost $9. There will only be 25 available. And this is Frankenfurter and Rocky from Rocky Horror Picture Show themed. Love, love, love this. My sister is going to like totally wish that she could have this. But she can't because her butt's in Kentucky. Now that brings us back to the one that I talked about at the beginning. This is from Heather's Hughes. And this is the Chocolate Factory Cuticle Oil with a brush tip and oh my god these two cuticle oils I, I'm absolutely in love with both of these hers and the one from Chilarity um, hers is like I said from I Love Lucy from the Chocolate Factory episode and she gets that with an it, oh my gosh you can really smell it it is a blend of milk chocolate cocoa powder confectioner sugar with hints of vanilla and warm caramel it smells amazing basically you just kind of twist this and it goes down into the brush and let's see if I can show you and then you basically just brush it around your cuticle. This is two ounces. It will be $5.75 and there will only be 50 available. And to me, totally worth it. For this one, I know some of my geeks and beauties out there are going to love this because they did a whole Sailor Moon themed um, little collaboration that went on for like a year. So this is the Heaven Sent, from Heaven Sent Treasure Candles. These are roll-on perfumes. One has like a shimmer to it. And this is for her duo. She did Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. Sailor Moon is Fighting Evil by Moonlight and Tuxedo Mask is Winning Love by Daylight. These are his and her little perfumes, but they come together. Now I am going to read off of this sheet of paper that she sent me. Fighting Evil by Moonlight has jojoba oil, fragrance oil, and mica in it. 
And this, um, the Winning Love by Daylight has jojoba oil and fragrance oils. These are both a five milliliter bottle and they are little roller balls. Now, like I said, the Sailor Moon does have like a shimmer in it and it is so, so pretty. Both of the scents are really great. So let's talk about the scents real quick. Like I said, I'm gonna read from this uh, because it's more detailed than what I had available in the Indie Pickup group. So Fighting Evil by Moonlight, which is the Sailor Moon one, like I said, and has the shimmer, is pomegranate, persimmon, green notes, black orchid, lotus blossom, liquid amber, mahogany woods, black violet, and a cream accord. So the top notes are pear, peach, lemon, plum, green notes, pomegranate, and persimmon, which might be why I love it because the first scent that I get is that pear. And when I didn't see that in the indie thing, I was like, hmm. So that's why I wanted to read it from here. The mid notes are rose, which I get, the honeysuckle, maguette, black orchid, which I get, black violet, and the lotus blossom. And then the base notes are cashmere woods, patchouli, musk, whipped vanilla, and amber. And I really do get that patchouli and musk once it has a chance to warm up on my skin. For the his, which is Winning Love by Daylight, that's Tuxedo Mask. It's bergamot, lemon, silver fir, geranium, all sitting on intoxicating notes of woods, leather, and musk with hints of vanilla. Uh, very similar to Polo Black, she says. I've never smelled Polo Black. I don't know. Somebody needs to buy this and tell me if it smells like Polo Black. Uh, top notes are lemon, mandarin, fresh air, and bergamot. I really do get the bergamot when you first sniff it. Mid notes are jasmine, herbs, silver fir, and geranium. I really do get that herby jasmine scent once it's sat for a second. And then the base notes are timber, patchouli, cedar, musk, amber, and leather. And I really do get that patchouli and leather once it's had a chance to warm up on my skin. Because y'all, I was walking around with all kinds of perfumes. <laughs> I had the hers on one arm. I had the his on one, arm, on one wrist. Five milliliters for each bottle. There is, um, they are 1650 and there is a cap of 24 so there are only going to be 24 of these sets available from hemlock doxy this is the ocean depths soy candle her theme was a sea and sky so we have a first off can we talk about this gorgeous mermaid with the little crystal on the lid and you get this little hair tie or ribbon however you want to use it and it has like a little seashell on it you want to take that off before you burn it by the way it is a pale blue and it smells like if you ever smell a candle in the store and, and it says like ocean on it it smells just like that like she nailed that kind of ocean themed candle so this will be $18 it's a three ounce candle it's $18 so there will only be 20 of these available all right my first of two wax melts I have Lynn B designs sarcastic comment her uh theme was statler and waldorf which are the two muppets um from if you've seen muppet christmas carol they were the two marley's and for sarcastic comment she says that it is a sassy blend of buttered popcorn with a dash of vanilla and cinnamon and oh my god do you smell the buttered popcorn when this melts so so good so so good so it is three ounces and it's 100 percent soy wax it'll be four dollars and there is no cap on that next we have night owl lacquer and as i said with uh bee's knees uh she part they partnered together to do bellatrix and molly weasley you know that whole battle so for molly she did love is a powerful magic this is a hand stamp pure aluminum uh little bracelet this is three eighths inches it's 14 gauge it can bend a little bit but you don't want to bend it too much and there will be up close photos on the blog i have just been waiting to do this video so that i can wear it full time now so this will not be coming off that much except to like shower dishes and all that kind of stuff this will be eleven dollars and there will only be 20 available. This one here might be one of my favorites. This is from Northern Star. This is the UFO Jelly Soap. Her theme was Scully and Mulder from X-Files. And it's supposed to be ginger ale scented with, glow in, with a glow in the dark alien inside. And now that I've read that, because I didn't read that before. I did not read that until I put this together. I can actually see them a little bit because I've used it a little bit. So it is, I don't want to tip it everywhere. It is a jelly soap. You can see better pictures on the blog of it. It does smell like ginger ale. At first, when I first smelled it, I was like, does it kind of smell like 
lemon pledge or something like that. So it threw me off. But then I was like, no, no, no. It's not quite lemon pledge. It's it's something else. It almost smells like ginger ale soda. And then when I was putting my list together, like earlier while I was doing my makeup, and I read it was ginger ale with the little alien, I was like, called it! Yes! I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> but, and you can't little see the little alien in there, but he's so cute! Seriously love this one. This is 2.2 ounces, and it is vegan and cruelty free. A lot of these are. This will be $5.75 and there's only 25 available. So you want to jump on this. This was one of the first ones that I received in the mail. This is from Off the Hook Creations by Jessica. Her theme was peanut butter jellyfish. So this is a jellyfish that has a little bit of peanut butter on him. This is um, used as, a, it can be used as anything you want. It could be decoration or whatever. But she has designed it to be like a cat toy. So there is a cap of 30 of these with catnip and 10 without catnip. And she sent it because she didn't know if we had a cat at the time when she went on ahead and sent this. Um, she didn't put catnip in it. So I went and got some of that actual like catnip spray and how you can get like the loose catnip and add a catnip to it. And Ghost liked playing with it before. But then I added the catnip and ooh, she loves this. She loves to like play with the little leggies. We hang it down when we have to put her in like um, a pen to do stuff, you know, so she doesn't get out or anything like that. We'll hang this inside of it and she loves to like just bat it around. Loves this. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a cute little cat toy and if your cat likes catnip. If you're not sure if your cat will like catnip, get the one without and you can add catnip to it later because you can always give it like a gentle wash to get the catnip off. And I dropped it. Oh, well, Ghost will find it when she comes back in the office. Um, like I said, 30 with catnip, 10 without. That will be $5. The next one is from Pepper Pot Polish. And I had the hardest time photographing this because of the gold bag she put it in but any other color bag would not have worked for this. So hers is a bath fizz and she chose gin and juice from the cocktail. As soon as I told Travis what it was when I received it, he was like, wait, you mean the Snoop Dogg song? And I was like, I don't know if she was theming it after that or like the actual gin and juice cocktail. And he was like, oh yeah, I forgot that was an actual cocktail. <laughs> so um, this is blood orange, pine, rosemary, club soda, and ginger. You really get that blood orange scent first off and then you get a little hint of the like the woodsy pine scent and then you get the ginger. I don't get the club soda as much. Um, this is five ounces. It is seven dollars. There will only be 40 available. This one here might be one of my favorites if nothing else because of her packaging. This is so freaking gorgeous and the photos I got from it were absolutely freaking stunning. So, this is Pie Colors, put that thing back where it belongs or so help me, cupcake soap. <laughs> now, if you didn't get it from the quote, this is based off of Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. So you get like that purple and green and then even more so and it smells so so good. I'm going to be honest and tell you that I have not used this yet because I haven't wanted to mess it up for the video. This is spice and berry scented and then of course it's Mike Wazowski green at the bottom and then Sully blue and purple throughout the top and then of course the top uh, throughout the top of the cupcake and then the frosting is a purple and green mix. Absolutely freaking stunning. So three and a half ounces, $8.75, cap of 35, only 35 will be available. And you can get multiple uses out of this, like a lot of uses. Sweet Sage Scents is next. And her theme was Still Magnolias, Blush and Bashful. My colors are blush and bashful, mama. Anybody remember that quote? Uh, this is the second uh, wax melt. This is three and a half ounces. I don't know the price for this. I don't know about how much it's gonna be. There's only gonna be 30 available, but I do want to show you how stinking cute the little raspberry is on top. So it's like light pink, dark pink, bubbly iced champagne and strawberries with notes of raspberry, cranberry, peach, vanilla, and musk. You need this in your life. So for this one, it comes in a little box. This is a chocolate pie, spelled P-Y-E, wax melt. And it actually does look like a chocolate pie. How cute is that? 
Her theme is based off of, I'm going to show you a quick picture real quick, but for this one, it is based off of a chocolate vibe. There is a delicious chocolate almond tart based on an actual recipe. The crust is strong almond and vanilla scent. I'm reading from her paper. Then the first layer is a wonderful sweet cream fragrance and is topped with a rich chocolate and cream filling and decorated with hand cut almonds on top. And it will also come with, I'm not going to show you it, but it comes with a copy of the recipe from the show for you to try. As you can see, I have not melted this one because I wanted it to be whole for the um, video. And so you can see that it actually looked like a pie. And oh my god, it smells amazing. I cannot wait to actually melt this. I will probably melt this one this evening. Next we have from Vibrant Vinyls, the Nuts About You Sticky Base Coat. Her duo, her inspiration was Chippendale, the squirrels. Not Chippendale, one word. Um, this is almond extract, chopped, al chopped almonds, and dark rum for a kind of nutty scent. Um, it also says on the other paper that it has sugarcane, coconut milk, vanilla extract, and cake batter. It smells so, so good. There will also be unscented ones available. This will be $7, and there is a cap of $250 according to the paper that she sent me. The last item that we have is from Wondering Songbird, and this is called A Strange Friendship. And this is a necklace. This is based off of Legolos and Gimli from Lord of the Rings. It is a one and a half inch pendant made using indie nail polish layered on a one inch cobachon. Anonymous sparkle on top and indigo bananas bonanza are layered on top of mystic, oh sorry, on labor on top of mystic mountain by Supermoon lacquer. It shifts from green to purple as you can see and the hollow and flakies give a glowing depth. It comes on an 18 inch cord with a two inch, kind of going blurry, extender. This will be $18 and there will only be 15 available and I love this. It is so pretty, so gorgeous. So those are just some of the products that will be available in the Indie Pickup and of course there will be polishes available in the Polish Pickup. I will have links to the Indie Pickup website down below. I believe the way that it works is that it opens from for like a couple days at the beginning of the month, I will have the exact dates listed in the blog post and in the description box down below. I believe it opens a day or two early so that you can make a wish list. And then that way when it opens for good, you can hurry up and go put those things in your cart and get checked out. Hopefully you found this video fun and informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to share it with all your friends. It really does help. Make sure to follow me on the social media link down below so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment down below telling me with all those 18 products, which one was your favorite. And until next time, bye!